Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Thursday's Thought for the Day. Although Peter is speaking on the day of Pentecost, the focus of his sermon is not actually about the Holy Spirit. It's all about Jesus. So in Acts 2, verses 22 to 23, Peter declares, Fellow Israelites, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God to you by miracles, wonders and signs which God did among you through him, as you yourselves know. This man was handed over to you by God's deliberate plan and knowledge. And you, with the help of wicked men, put him to death by nailing him to the cross. Jesus was fully man, yet he was also fully God. And Jesus did miracles, wonders and signs that no mere human could do in their own strength. Miracles, mighty works of divine power, wonders that caused everyone who witnessed them to be amazed. Signs, because they pointed to who Jesus was and why he came. And Peter says that God endorsed Jesus by working these miracles and wonders and signs through him. They all demonstrate that Jesus truly is the Messiah, God's King, pointing to what life in his future kingdom would look like. And the crowd could not deny this. They had seen what Jesus had done, but they had not worshipped Jesus. They had rejected him. And it's all mankind. Everyone at the time was responsible for the death of Jesus. It was the Jews, both the people and the leaders. The people had heard about the miracles of Jesus and yet still cried out for him to be killed. Crucify him. Crucify him. And yet their leaders incited them. Right from the start, they felt threatened by Jesus, envious of his popularity. But it wasn't only the Jews who were responsible. Peter makes clear that it was the Gentiles too. The Roman authorities, the soldiers, all guilty of Jesus' death. They are the wicked men who ordered and carried out the crucifixion. But amazingly, humanity's act of rejection is also God's act of salvation. All that happened was according to the plan of God. God is behind the death of Jesus too. And unashamedly, Peter puts side by side both human responsibility and God's sovereignty. God planned for Jesus to die for our sake in order to save us from our sin. Jesus died for our forgiveness to bring us new life, new spiritual life. And we've been guilty of rejecting Jesus too. Before we turned to him, we said no to Jesus, wanting nothing to do with him. And therefore we should praise God for saving us through Jesus' death and bringing us to have faith in him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, help us to be amazed again that Jesus has died for our sin in love for us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good Thursday. See you tomorrow.